The people of Earth are on the verge of becoming gatekeepers for an unprecedented wave of new technologies, many of which have the potential to reshape society and life as we know it. As these advancements emerge, the responsibility to oversee and manage them will require a deep commitment to ethics and selflessness. With immense power comes the potential for both great progress and significant harm, making it crucial that humanity approaches this role with integrity and a focus on the greater good. By prioritizing ethical principles and collective well-being over personal gain, we can ensure that these technologies serve to uplift all, fostering a future of abundance and harmony. I thought it might be important for us to understand the different classifications of technological advancement and what we might be entrusted with soon and in the distant future. These advancements can be broadly categorized into stages, from basic innovations that improve everyday life to transformative technologies that could fundamentally alter human existence. In the near future, we may see breakthroughs in areas like free energy, advanced medical treatments, and artificial intelligence, all of which will require careful stewardship to ensure they are used responsibly. Looking further ahead, more profound technologies, such as those involving interstellar travel, life extension, or even the manipulation of space-time, may come within our reach. With each level of advancement, the need for wisdom, collaboration, and ethical governance will only grow as the power we hold could shape the destiny of not only our planet but potentially other worlds as well. My hope is to help you understand that access to various technologies will likely be earned rather than dumped on us all at once, necessitating effort on our part to be worthy of such responsibility. We're going to look at the Kardashev scale, which is a framework developed to assess the progression of a civilization's technological capabilities by the amount of energy it can harness and utilize. Before we move on, let me repeat, the progression of technological capabilities is based on our ability to harness energy. If you enjoy my content, share, like, and subscribe. Check out my store, which is linked in the description. And if you want to help support my channel, super thanks tips are always appreciated. Okay, so let's go with what we can expect as we mature technologically. You may have heard that there are 6,000 technologies that are being kept secret and will be revealed. I'd like to clarify this. The Code of Federal Regulations, CFR, deals with secrecy orders of patents in 37 CFR 5.1 to 5.5. These regulations outline the procedures for imposing secrecy orders on patent applications that may contain sensitive information related to national security. The secrecy order restricts disclosure or publication of the invention in any form. There are three main types of secrecy orders that can be imposed on patent applications in the U.S. Type 1 is a standard secrecy order which is the most common type and is issued when the government determines that the disclosure of the patent application could harm national security. Under this order, the patent applicant is prohibited from disclosing any details of the invention to anyone, including foreign entities or governments, without prior approval from the U.S. government. The application is essentially put on hold, and no patent is granted until the secrecy order is lifted. Type 2 is a modified secrecy order which allows limited disclosure of the invention to specific government agencies or contractors working with the government. The scope of the restriction is narrower than in the standard secrecy order, meaning the applicant may be permitted to discuss the invention with certain authorized personnel, but not beyond that. This type is often issued when the invention has defense-related applications that require collaboration or further development with government partners. Type 3 is a special secrecy order, which is the strictest type of secrecy order and is used for highly sensitive inventions that could have significant implications for national security or foreign relations. The patent applicant may not disclose the invention to anyone, including the government's own contractors, without specific permission. The government may also impose additional requirements, such as restricting where research and development related to the invention can take place or limiting the number of people who can work on it. 
These secrecy orders are reviewed annually and may be lifted if the government no longer considers the invention a security risk. However, they can also be renewed indefinitely if the threat to national security remains. I'm sure that many of you have heard that over 6,000 technologies are being suppressed. This assertion comes from a March 2021 Freedom of Information request that responded that since as far back as the 1940s there was 6,322 suppressed patents as of December 31, 2020. Of note, the bulk of the secret patents are sponsored by military. In 2020, 73% were from the Navy. The Air Force traditionally sponsored 25 to 40 percent until 2019, when their sponsorships dropped significantly. I find it interesting that the United States Space Force was officially established on December 20, 2019. The abbreviation for the United States Space Force is USSF, and as you can see, even though the Air Force suppressed patents dropped, we see no patents recorded at all by the USSF. Could this mean that the USSF has no technology? I doubt it. Could it mean that they don't find a need for patents on their technology? What are your thoughts? Why did patents for the Air Force drop when the Space Force started? And why isn't the Space Force receiving patent secrecy orders? So I want you to understand that this document is likely where the narrative about over 6,000 technologies that are being suppressed. It's certainly very odd that the lion's share of these patents that are under secrecy orders are sponsored by the military. I'm sure many of these technologies are ones that we have talked about, one thing I noted on the secrecy order data was that there was a huge jump in the number of suppressed patents after 1980. I believe there's a reason for this. Quantum entanglement was confirmed in the 1980s. Quantum entanglement is utilized in several emerging technologies including quantum computing, quantum cryptography, quantum teleportation, quantum sensors, quantum imaging, and quantum networks. Now let's take a look at this Kardashev scale, which proposes that as civilizations grow more advanced, their ability to control energy increases, starting from the resources available on their home planet to eventually harnessing energy from stars, galaxies, and potentially even the entire universe. The scale provides a way to conceptualize how civilizations might evolve far beyond current human capabilities with each level marking an exponential leap in both energy control and technological sophistication. So if you think medbeds are the end of the line, put on your seatbelts and get ready for a wild ride. Type 1 Civilization or Planetary Civilization Energy Use A Type 1 Civilization can harness and use all the energy available on its home planet. This includes energy from natural resources like fossil fuels, nuclear energy, wind, solar, and geothermal. Technological capability, such a civilization would be able to control weather, earthquakes, and even the planet's oceans and ecosystems. This level of control would allow for the elimination of natural disasters. Human status Earth is currently estimated to be around 0.7 on the Kardashev scale, meaning we are on the path toward type 1 but still reliant on finite resources. Type 2 civilization, or stellar civilization. Energy use. A Type II civilization can harness the full energy output of its home star, likely through advanced megastructures like a Dyson Sphere or Dyson Swarm, an array of satellites that surround the star to capture its energy. Technological capability. This civilization could colonize and utilize resources across its entire solar system. It would be capable of large-scale astro-engineering projects, such as moving planets, mining gas giants, or building artificial planets. Some depictions of highly advanced alien civilizations like the ones in Star Trek or Star Wars reflect the capabilities of a Type II civilization. Type III civilization, also known as a galactic civilization. A Type III civilization can harness and control the energy of an entire galaxy including its stars, black holes, and other cosmic phenomena. This civilization would be capable of intergalactic travel and might employ advanced methods of energy generation, such as utilizing black hole power, controlling dark matter, or manipulating entire star systems. The civilization may span the entire galaxy with centralized or decentralized control of energy and technology. The use of artificial intelligence 
self-replicating machines and faster-than-light travel could be integral. Galactic empires like the ones in Dune or Isaac Asimov's Foundation series often reflect the potential characteristics of a Type III civilization. Type IV Civilization or Universal Civilization a type Ivor civilization controls energy on a universal scale, tapping into the energy output of all galaxies, stars, and possibly other forms of energy like dark energy or quantum phenomena across the universe. Such a civilization would have a profound understanding of the fundamental forces of the universe. It could manipulate space-time, control black holes, and potentially even harness the energy of the entire universe. They might have the ability to manipulate reality, travel instantaneously across the universe, and control space-time at will. This type assumes technology far beyond anything humanity can currently imagine. Type V Civilization or Multiverse Civilization A Type V Civilization can access and manipulate energy across multiple universes in a multiverse. This type of civilization might operate in dimensions beyond our own and exploit energies or resources across countless universes or dimensions. Type V beings would likely have powers akin to godlike entities, with the ability to create and destroy universes, manipulate the very fabric of reality, and exist outside the physical laws governing individual universes. They would have transcended time, space, and physical limitations entirely. Type Vi civilizations are often found in philosophical discussions or highly advanced science fiction. This civilization would operate on a level that we may never fully understand. I hope this video has put our future path in perspective. It is our nature as humans to want everything now, but I hope that you can see that it's essential to approach these advanced technologies with caution and responsibility. The journey towards such profound advancements requires patience, ethical considerations, and a deep understanding of their implications. By advancing step by step and proving our readiness, we ensure that these transformative technologies are used wisely and beneficially. Embracing a thoughtful, deliberate approach helps us build a future where such sophistication enhances our world and contributes to the greater good. Until next time, let's remember a quote by Mahatma Gandhi, to lose patience is to lose the battle.